Hi everyone, it's Nisha. So today I wanted to play with the new Sigma Alice in Wonderland collection. You may remember I have shown it to you briefly in one of my Monday vlogs, but today I want to play with it. So this is the collection. The packaging is really cute. So what you get in here is eyeshadow palette, cheek duo, blush and highlighter, two lip products, lip cream and lip gloss, five brushes and a beautiful bag that will fit all these products in it. So I was very surprised when I opened this palette because uh, this is probably the most colorful palette that Sigma has come out with. Then you have the Cheek Duo. I love this blush. It's a beautiful mauve color. The brushes are gorgeous. You get a foundation brush, you get three eye brushes, which are actually really good. You get the pencil brush, you get, is that E27? Yeah, E27, very good at applying your eyeshadow, laying it down, and then blending brush, E45. I love the Duo Fiber uh, brush. I have three of them now, and I love using it for my blush. So have a look at the swatches first. Uh, so have a look at the swatches. I've swatched the palette for you. As you can see, it's quite colorful, a lot of greens. And uh, then we have the cheek duo swatches and the lip swatches. I must admit, this palette is a bit out of my comfort zone. This side is a bit warmer, obviously this is all cool. They are all beautiful, beautiful pigmentation when you swatch them. I will see what they are like on, on the eye. I haven't used it at all, but you know me, I'm all warm browns or mauves person, but I quite like the greens. I don't wear them very often, but whenever I do a green look, I really like it. So I don't know, let's see what we can come up with. I think I'm going to apply the cheek color first. I knew I was gonna love this color. This is definitely my color. It is not shimmering, but it's sort of satiny. It's not completely matte. Gorgeous. Let me apply the highlighter, which is called Tickled Pink, and the blush is called Paint the Roses. This is really pretty. Oh, it's really nice. It's not one of those, you know, some of those highlighters are just like so, so shimmery that people can see you from the moon. This is, I'm sure you can intensify it. I don't want to obviously, but this is really, really lovely and subtle and a beautiful tone as well, sort of pinkish, champagne pink. And of course the palette comes with the double-ended brush as well. So let's use the E28 and I'm going to go into 10 over six. That's the name of the eyeshadow and I'm going to start applying it in my crease, concentrating mostly on the outer V. This is a lovely transition color, a blending out color. Yeah, it's really nice, lovely buildable, Blends really well, that's what you want from your transition color. Now with the E54, I'm going to go to Q Heart. Uh, 
and start pressing it down on the outer mobile lid and pulling it into the crease. Nice sort of pinky redwood color. It looks a bit darker in a palette than it is. But very nice. Oh, I like it. I love doing that when I've never used the palette before and I do it for the first time with you. I love it how I get surprised. I'm going to turn it around and keep blending the edges. Now I'm going to take the E27 and I'm going to go into Wonderland. And I'm going to apply it to the rest of my mobile lid. Wow. You could wet the brush for this. I might do it. I'm just using the Morphe setting spray. You can use any setting spray. And I'm applying it up to the crease. And almost to the inner corner. I want to use more of the colorful eyeshadows because you know my instinct would be to just stay on this side. <laughs> I will have to use other brushes now. Um, I think what I might do is go into Cheshire if you're in a USA, you probably pronounce it Cheshire. And I'm going to apply it in between these two colors. <gasps> oh, that's so pretty. That is a gorgeous color. Now I'm going to take my P66 and go into Curiosa. and just darken the outer V. Before I do the inner corner, I'm going to do the bottom lash. So I will take the Sigma E30 pencil brush. I will go into Curiosa, that very dark brown. I'm going to clean up this brush and I'm going to go into Cheshire I have to wet the brush for this there and now in the corners I am going to go into White Rabbit I'm taking Rifa 03. Oh, wow. This is gorgeous to brighten up your inner corner. I think I might use a black liner just on my outer V and just at the end of my lower lash line. Let me just apply mascara and I will be back. So this is the finished look. I think this is really, really pretty. Let's do something different on the other eye. Shall we go for green? Let's go for green. I think I'm going to go for the caterpillar. And just start stamping it 
on my outer V we will blend it out later this is Rifa 16 Then with the other side of this, I'm going to go to Mad Hatta, which is a bit lighter green, still matte. Then Wonderland, that shimmery green. And I think I have to use the Tea Party in a, in a corner. But Tea Party looks very like it is going to have fallout, so definitely wet it. It's sort of olive lime type of colour oh, it's gorgeous I will have a job washing my brushes today I'm going to take another Holo P66 and go into Lost which is the black with some shimmer and just apply it on an outer V get a bit of fallout from this so it's probably best to apply the eyeshadow before you do your makeup you see I love it I love it I never wear green but I love it and um, now what I'm doing is just going over those colors again that's what I normally do because when you blend in they sort of disappear a bit blend this upwards I don't really have a color to blend out this green but that's okay I'm just going to keep blending the edges of this now on my lower lash line I'm going to apply Caterpillar I am going to put on top of it a bit of that Wonderland then in a corner Tea Party and right on the edge lost I suggest to wet a bit all these shimmery shadows because otherwise you get loads of fallout again let me line my eye a bit don't ask me about this liner it is not very good I just grabbed it it's just not very black and mascara okay and that's the green look love it it's gorgeous i feel like these shadows would go with any eye color brown blue hazel green what do you think let me apply the lip cream i think i'm going to use lip liner with it morphe in crush this is sort of mauvey colour then 
This is lovely colour, my type of colour. I wouldn't say that this has very opaque pigmentation, but it is not just like a, you know, lip gloss. It has pigmentation in it, but it's not very opaque, very creamy, very shiny. Should we put a bit of that gloss? Oh yeah, the gloss makes it a bit darker and more glossy. Okay, my lovely, so these were like the two most colorful looks that I would go for. Shall we do a third one? More tamed in the browns, in the safe area. Let me just take these off. Okay, taking the other ones off, I'm going to start with Rifa 01 and I'm going to go Q Heart. So I'm just concentrating on an outer V with this color. And whatever I've got left, I pull it inwards. I will keep building it up. Then on Rifa 15, I'm taking twinning. It's sort of mustard yellow. And I'm applying it just here on the top of the Queen Heart, Q Heart. The Q Heart has sort of pinkish tinge to it and um, mustard yellows go nice with that. It sort of gives you that sunset look. Then I'm going to go into Curiosa, which I suppose means more curious, and just darken the outer V. On my mobile lid, I'm going to go to Mr. Walrus and apply it all over my mobile lid. Again, if you want more intensity, wet it. I've just wet my brush. I'm going to repeat that on my lower lash line. So I'm going to go in with Q Heart. Darken it on the outer corner with Curiosa. And put the Mr. Walrus in a inner corner. Sorry I haven't been telling you what brushes I'm using for everything but I've used so many brushes because obviously these shadows are so colourful. <laughs> it's going to be a lot of brush cleaning to do after this. I might use the Curious Art to make a line. I need to wet it down. And mascara. Okay, that's the finished look. I feel that this is definitely the most neutral you can go with this palette. Uh, this palette is definitely for color lovers. Um, I liked all the looks. 
but obviously um, I would wear this one for the day this is like me um, but I loved all the other colorful looks gorgeous palette the quality really good I love the blush and the and the highlighter the lip color is beautiful especially if you use it with um, I think this went really well with it the Morphe crush lip liner I don't know if you can still get them um, this collection has come out last week um, so it should be available I will leave you the links to it let me just tell you that um, if you buy the whole collection you get 20% off if you buy everything that is in this collection other than that you can obviously buy things separately i hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and stay fabulous bye